Hair loss. Trouble swallowing. Nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, fatigue, muscle wasting, anemia, sepsis. What I just listed were not symptoms of a disease. Those were just some of the side effects caused by the cancer treatment chemotherapy. Chemotherapy rarely cures patients, and these side effects can become so severe that some patients need to end treatment early, and more and more are choosing not to receive treatment at all. Why? Well, the problem with chemotherapy is it's not specific for cancer. It's going to interact with all of the healthy cells in the body and damage them, producing side effects. But it doesn't have to be this way. Our lab at the University of Alberta has the solution to achieve side effect free cancer treatment by combining our two patented technologies suicide gene therapy and its delivery vehicle, fusogenic nanoparticles. With suicide gene therapy, we can force cancer cells to commit suicide in a specific manner. 80% of every single cancer patient can benefit from our treatment because these patients all have tumors that inactivate the same guardian gene. This guardian gene is a cell's natural genetic protection to cancer development, and cancer cells need it gone in order to grow and thrive. Many research groups have tried to restore the function of this guardian gene, but these strategies always fail. Our group took an innovative approach. We found that when the guardian gene is inactivated, all of the cancer cells' biological pathways become disrupted. Using our technology, we hijack these disrupted pathways and force the cancer cells to produce our potent suicide gene and self destruct. This unique technology is specific for cancer because healthy cells don't have these disrupted pathways. Therefore, they can't produce the suicide gene and are unaffected by treatment. Now, in order to get our suicide gene inside these cancer cells located throughout the body, we use our fusogenic nanoparticle as a delivery vehicle. Fusogenic nanoparticles actually fuse with cancer cells and deliver the suicide gene directly inside the cell. This makes them the most efficient and effective delivery vehicle available today. By combining our two technologies, we can safely shrink tumors by up to 90%. We've tested the effectiveness of this treatment in multiple cancer subtypes. We've determined the safety of our treatment in non human primates. We've created spin off companies to help commercialize our technology and are set to begin clinical trials within two years by destroying tumors in a safe manner, like we've done in these mice. We're going to replace toxic chemotherapy and break the wall of cancer treatment. Thank you. Woo. How do you reactivate the tumor suppressor? I guess it's P53. So there's multiple mechanisms of inactivating it. Could be mutation, could be overexpression of a negative regulator. So there's drugs that block the interaction with a negative regulator. There's drugs that convert this mutation. But these are very specific aspects of cancer and doesn't cover all different patients. Yes. <coughs> Thanks for a great talk. Um, how does your fusogenic nanoparticle know what's a cancer cell and what's not? So we rely on the enhanced permeability and retention effect. Our nanoparticles are accumulating in the, in the tumor. Thank you.